Mr. Trump, let me repeat the question. If you were president, what would you do about Syria and the humanitarian crisis in Aleppo? And I want to remind you what your running mate said. He said, provocations by Russia need to be met with American strength and that if Russia continues to be involved in airstrikes along with the Syrian government forces of Assad, the United States of America should be prepared to use military force to strike the military targets of the Assad regime. Okay. He and I haven't spoken and I disagree. I disagree. You disagree I with your running I think we have to man. knock out ISIS. Right now, Syria is fighting ISIS. We have people that want to fight both at the same time. But Syria is no longer Syria. Syria is Russia, and it's Iran, who she made strong, and Kerry and Obama made into a very powerful nation and a very rich nation very, very quickly, very, very quickly. I believe we have to get ISIS. We have to worry about ISIS before we can get too much more involved. She had a chance to do something with Syria. They had a chance. And that was the line. What do you think and will happen did. if Aleppo falls? I think Aleppo is a disaster humanitarian What do you think wise. will it happen humani- if it falls? Uh, I think that it basically has fallen, okay? It basically has fallen. Let me tell you something. You take a look at Mosul. The biggest problem I have with the stupidity of our foreign policy. We have Mosul. They think a lot of the ISIS leaders are in Mosul. So we have announcements coming out of Washington and coming out of Iraq. We will be attacking Mosul in three weeks or four weeks. Well, all of these bad leaders from ISIS are leaving Mosul. Why can't they do it quietly? Why can't they do the attack, make it a sneak attack, and after the attack is made, inform the American public that we've knocked out the leaders, we've had a tremendous success. People leave. Why do they have to say we're going to be attacking Mosul within the next four to six weeks, which is what they're saying? How stupid is our country? There are sometimes reasons the military does that. I, Psychological warfare. I can't warfare. think of any. I can't think of any. It and might be to help get General civilians Flynn, out. And we have, look, I have 200 generals and admirals who endorse me. I have 21 Congressional Medal of Honor recipients who endorse me. We talk about it all the time. They understand. Why can't they do something secretively where they go in and they knock out the leadership? How, why would these people stay there? I've been reading now Tell for weeks. Tell me what your Mosul. strategy is. I've been reading is. now for weeks about Mosul, that it's the harbor of where, you know, between Raqqa and Mosul. This is where they think the ISIS leaders are. Why would they be staying? They're not staying there anymore. They're gone. Because everybody's talking about how Iraq, which is us with our leadership, goes in to fight Mosul. Now, with these 200 admirals and generals, they can't believe it. All I say is this, General George Patton, General Douglas MacArthur are spinning in their grave at the stupidity of what we're doing in the Middle East.